record? How's this gonna look on a job application? And how much could this end up costing me in bail money and legal fees? I cared about the fight, but I was nervous about the consequences for myself and for my family. Then I thought back to a moment 10 years ago when I had an opportunity to visit South Afri Africa and found myself looking at what had previously been Nelson Mandela's prison cell on Robben Island. I remember asking myself how could he possibly have found the courage to fight with everything that he had day after day, facing tremendous hardship at the hands of his oppressors. That kind of bravery seemed unfathomable. But now I realize it's not just about being brave, it's about being so effective by so affected by the injustice surrounding you that you have no choice but to stand up and do something about it. Oh, that car is not stopping, is it? You reach a boiling point, and as Mandela said in his wisdom, when the water starts boiling, it's foolish to turn off the heat. I took a second look at the pros and cons list I had in my head. And then I thought about all the people that I've met in the past year who have lost loved ones, friends, students, all at the end of a gun. I thought about a church in South Carolina, about a nightclub in Orlando, and an outdoor concert in Las Vegas. I thought of all the innocent lives taken too soon who no longer had a chance to call for change because it had been taken away from them by a bullet. And I thought of the potential loss of life to come if we didn't act to change our nation's gun laws. After that, I couldn't believe that I'd ever considered not participating in a civil disobedience action. I had spent so much time considering the consequences of this action that I neglected to see the consequences of my inaction. Yeah. Standing on the sidelines was not going to get the job done. We have marched, we have rallied, written, and met with our legislators day after day, week after week, month after month, in the five years since first graders were killed in Newtown, Connecticut by an assault weapon. Some of our legislators still haven't gotten the message, and so we live with our new Majority. normal, looking over our shoulders and immediately identifying the nearest exit when we go into a mall, or a movie theater, or to a school. Martin Luther King said that there are two types of laws. Oh, here it goes again. They're honking for the ban on assault weapons. I like hearing that echo. <laughs> there are two types of laws, just and unjust. I'd be the first to advocate obeying just laws. One that has, has not only a legal, but a moral responsibility to obey just laws. Conversely, one has a moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws. <laughs> so I ask you, is it just that Senator Toomey is free to accept thousands of dollars from gun rights groups, no. but what no. happens? with his own constituents to discuss the assault weapons ban? Yeah. Is it just when our students are forced to normalize the gun violence in their communities on a daily basis, as legislators and PA suggest arming teachers to solve the problem, while some yeah. schools don't have funding for textbooks? Yeah. Is it just when 17 people are killed by an AR-15 at a high school as our legislators only offer thoughts and prayers? Yeah. No. It's not. The man who caused the tragic events on, when on Wednesday bought his AR-15 legally, a weapon that could fire an exorbitant amount of rounds per minute in the hands of someone who was not 20 years old yet. I have to keep telling myself Get this so that I remember out. how insane it is that Senator Toomey will not even consider signing on to the assault weapons ban of 2017. Shame. 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 We have reached our boiling point in the fight to end gun violence, and we will not be turning off the heat. No. No. We will keep the pressure on the NRA, on our legislators, and stir up the passion of those sitting idly by as the epidemic sweeps our streets. It is beyond time to demand the ban. I hope to see you all on March 21st. Yeah.